Few things are more soothing than watching a rhythmic machine perform a mind-blowing task as effortlessly as Jimi Hendrix's fingers danced around a guitar's neck. So sit back, relax, and join us as we highlight 10 pieces of incredibly satisfying modern technology. A lot of these satisfying inventions do one thing that feeds the eyes with happiness. Manufacturing giant Optimus gives us two, making road paving a thing of beauty. Optimus starts by flattening out the would-be road's gravel with a long grader screed. Seeing the chunks of material slowly being flattened into a manageable, even surface is positively heartwarming. If you've ever watched cars and found yourself physically hurt by watching Lightning McQueen butcher his road paving duties, seeing a greater screed go to work will revitalize your soul. Then comes the laying of the concrete. Officially called the Optimus T11 Basic Flasterverliga Machina, the Optimus paver laying machine turns the mundane act of cement pouring into a satisfying puzzle. The concrete is already formed and hardened, arriving in various chunks that resemble puzzle pieces. The Flasterverliga Machina lays each stone puzzle piece next to each other, leaving only a few holes for a worker to effortlessly slip a brick inside. Just like that, we have a new road, driveway or parking lot, or whatever else needed paving. It's not hard work, but rather smart work, not to mention relaxing entertainment. Few things are as unsatisfying as seeing trash floating around the ocean. But there's so much of it, we can't just swim around and collect it all, right? Right. So a company called Seabin Project has devised a better idea, an ocean trash collector that's as ecologically sound as it is fun to watch. The idea is shockingly basic. Place a large trash bin in the water with only the top of its head sticking out. Inside are plastic mesh and filter, and below all that is a water pump designed to suck water into the bin. Also getting sucked in, anything in the water, including plastics, paper, cigarette butts, and other trashy foreign objects. Seeing bottles, bags, cigarettes, and countless other things slowly sucked into the sea bin one by one, like a watery conveyor belt, is something you could peacefully meditate over for hours. Once the sea bin is full, its handler can remove the mesh and collect the trash to either be recycled or, well, trashed. Just like that, our waters are cleaner than they were the day before. Thus far, around 70 marinas have agreed to use the sea bin. Hopefully, it's simply a matter of time before more around the world do the same. As for any fish that may get sucked into the sea bin, we'll simply have to put them back home. We're sure they'll understand the slight inconvenience, especially once they realize it's been weeks since they've seen a plastic bag anywhere. Lasers can do so much more than distract cats and torture James Bond. The Thunder Laser Cutting Machine, for example, uses lasers to create literal works of art, and it's one of the most satisfying things to watch on the planet. Simply program the Thunder for how and where you want the laser to move, and it goes to work. Its super-powerful laser can cut through wood, high-density fiberboard, and even sheet metal, creating any kind of design your mind can dream up. Watching it in person is fairly slow, as the Thunder can take an hour or more to complete the job. However, watching a sped-up video of the process is enough to make the eyes and heart dance. Watching the laser dance around the material, effortlessly cutting through and leaving behind pure art is simply magical. Whether you're carving out some wood art or creating pieces of a model to assemble on your day off, the Thunder Laser Cutter will make your vision a reality. And if your only desire is to watch somebody else use the Thunder, the process will leave you just as happy. Folding shirts isn't usually all that soothing. In fact, very little about doing laundry is, but the Speedy T machine is here to change that. The Speedy T is about the size of a regular table, making usage incredibly easy. Simply place an unfolded shirt onto the tabletop, sleeves dangling from the edges. Then press the button and the machine does the rest. In less than three seconds, the bottom folds up, then one sleeve, then the other, and then finally the whole thing folds over the top. If you're like us, you'll replay the folding portion of the Speedy T video time and again, both because it happens so fast and because it's just that awesome to witness. After that, the now folded shirts get flipped onto the stacking table, where you can pile them on top of one another as pretty as a department store. But what if you are a department store and you need to wrap the shirt up in plastic too? The Speedy T has that function as well. It folds up the shirts like usual, but stops the final flip mid-flight. This allows the user to easily slip a plastic bag over the shirt, making it 100% shelf ready. But never mind that, we could just sit and watch this machine fold shirts for hours on end. Plus, doing so might finally solve the mystery of how to properly fold shirts by hand. It might not make laundry more fun, but it will certainly make it faster. 
Flying drones are already fun to watch, but the Elios flying drone is doubly fun at the very least. The tiny Elios, and its stronger but equally tiny brother, Elios 2, is encased in a sturdy circular cage that renders it tolerant, if not immune, to collisions. This allows it to float in and around tight, dark, dangerous areas that other drones, and people, simply cannot access. Its HD camera then transmits footage back to the operator, who simply could not have seen that location otherwise. But never mind how much a collision-proof drone can benefit businesses of every kind. Simply watching the Elios in action, bobbing up and down and all around like a forever floating beach ball is beyond satisfying. It gets even more satisfying when you're the one controlling the Elios. Maneuvering such a perfect circle around is both relaxing and super fun. On a related note, if you're playing around with an Elios drone and you're not pretending like you're controlling your own personal bite-sized Death Star, then you definitely need more fun in your life. Ever seen those giant tractor-powered mowers and wish you could handle one yourself? If so, a company called Brielmeyer has made your dream a reality. At its heart, the Brielmeyer is a giant lawnmower, but watching people use it is like something out of a dream. The sight of someone pushing a huge mower, flattening everything in their path, is simply awesome. It becomes downright comical when viewed from above, because from the sky, the mower's handler looks like an ant bringing a huge chunk of food back to the colony. The Briel Meyer mower works in other ways too. For one, you can attach what looks like a gun turret to the mower and spray fertilizer or other materials spectacularly long distances. If you have a large field to feed, there's no faster or more fun way to get it done. In addition, for truly huge mowing jobs, Brielmeyer offers a double mower that you can ride on. Simply steer and watch your mower flatten down football fields, baseball diamonds, or even entire hillsides in a flash. Whether you're the rider or simply observing, mowing the lawn will never be the same. No one enjoys getting a flat tire, but imagine if you were on the moon or Mars and your tire blew. Good luck getting AAA to come all the way out there. NASA recently developed a new kind of tire to ensure they never have to deal with flats millions of miles away, and it's simply mesmerizing to see. It looks like it's made out of chainmail, though in reality it's made from a nickel and titanium-based alloy. It doesn't puncture under pressure like traditional airfield tires, and instead simply rolls over whatever obstacle gets in its way. Seeing one of these tires drive over a tall, jagged rock and watching the titanium mesh sink and form along with the rock, all while sustaining no damage whatsoever, is incredibly soothing to both watch and think about. Imagine your own vehicle riding around on such a tire, being able to drive most anywhere you like and never worrying about fixing a flat or changing out your winter tires for summer ones. While titanium alloy may currently be a trifle too expensive for the average Joe and Jane, it's only a matter of time before costs go way down. When that happens, all of us who have no clue how to change a tire will rejoice, for our day has come. 3D printing has been around for quite a while now, and the sheer amount of stuff you can create from one of those machines is simply incredible. But the most incredible of them all would have to be how you can 3D print yourself a house. Not a dollhouse, mind you, an actual house that you and your loved ones can comfortably live in. A housing charity called New Story has partnered with a construction tech company called Icon in an effort to mass-produce 3D printed homes and end the global homelessness crisis. The ultimate goal is to create each 650 square foot home in under 24 hours for a cost of around $4,000 a piece. Seeing the home building process is nothing short of pure eye candy. Humans start by assembling the basic wooden structure, then the giant 3D printer, named Vulcan to further satisfy the Trekkies watching this, actually prints out layers upon layers of mortar, with the precision of a master baker artfully icing a seven-layer cake. Then humans come back in and add the rest – doors, windows, plumbing and electricity. The result is a comfortable, sturdy home with a living space, an office, a bedroom and a bathroom. All for around four grand. The group's next goal is to print hundreds of these houses in impoverished regions of El Salvador, ensuring that those who live on less than $200 a month have safe and comfortable shelter at last. If they can pull that off in El Salvador and elsewhere, that will simply make the Vulcan's work even more satisfying. No longer do we need to laboriously lay down a road brick by brick. Thanks to modern technology like the RPS6 road printer, we can simply roll out an entire road where we want it and do so five times faster than if we relied entirely on manpower. Plus, we can marvel at the incredibly satisfying, almost poetic process while doing so. 
The road printer is a great combination of new school tech and old school handiwork. Workers bring loose bricks to the top of the road printer. Then they place the bricks on a curved ramp and assemble them into a series of straight lines, which the road printer then swallows up. From there, the machine literally oozes the completed road onto whatever path you choose. It's honestly surreal to watch a machine spit out a complete road as it does, and we could watch it do its job forever. It gets even more impressive with bigger roads, as the road printer can create them up to 20 feet wide. It does all this while steering itself, ensuring the road stays straight the entire time. Enjoy the road printer bricklaying process, but try not to get too hypnotized while doing so. Trust us, it's extremely possible. This may be the single most satisfying way to mold plastic we've ever seen. This vacuum forming machine, designed by a company called Formac, uses heat and vacuum sealing to form a 4mm sheet of plastic around a preset mold. Just place the mold into the machine, lower it, insert the plastic at the top, and the machine does the rest. After 60 seconds of intense heat, the plastic becomes super soft and flexible. You raise the mold up, and when the two meet, they gel together in the coolest mold formation you'll ever see. In an instant, the plastic assumes the mold's form – car, shoe, gorilla head, steering wheel, or anything else your mind desires. And while many plastic sheets are solid color, not all of them need to be. Just watch as a sheet sporting the Heineken logo gets vacuum formed to resemble a large bottle cap. More than anything, the sight of the plastic assuming its shape like the T-1000 changing forms is the selling point for the eyes. If there's a neater, more soothing way to mass-produce plastic toys or parts, we've yet to see it. Honestly, the only person who might not enjoy watching this machine in action would be Han Solo. It uh, brings back bad memories.